Hey guys, welcome to Calculus Daily. We'll be looking at three questions from algebra, differentiation, and integration. Uh, Alright, here we go. If we have a look at this question, we've got a quadratic, and it's been asked to find the solutions for the quadratic in um, a plus, uh, plus or minus b root c. All right. So the first thing you really want to do is write down the quadratic equation. So you've got x is equal to negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now, just looking at my values, a is equal to 1, b equals minus 8, and c is equal to 4. So we're all okay with that? Okay. So from here, I'm going to substitute all of these things. So I've got negative b, so it's negative 8 plus or minus b squared is negative 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times 4. All that, it's over 2. I'm not going to write 2 times 1, it's just 2. So simplifying this, I have 8 plus or minus 64 minus 16 over 2. So this can be written as 8 plus or minus 48 over 2. We okay so far? Now, with that 48, I actually was walking around, I saw people uh, do a couple of things. Now, remember I told you guys always this, try and look for square numbers that can be uh, can be used as a factor. Now, if you look at 48, all right, you've got, I'm looking at square numbers. So it'll be 24 times 2, then after 2 is 4. Uh, you could have 4 times 12, but I think you should also be able to do 16, okay? 16 times 3. Uh, 24 times 2, there's no square number there. It's just 4 and 16. So the combination I'm looking for is this one here, 3 times 16. So I could rewrite this as 8 plus or minus 16 times 3. Is that all right? Am I good so far? And that's divided by 2, which means I can write this as 8 plus or minus. Square root of 16 is 4. 4 root 3 over 2 but I still have to keep carrying on because the format that I'm looking for is a plus b root c okay which means I can simplify this just a little bit more as 8 over 2 plus or minus 4 over 2 root 3 and this can be written as 4 plus or minus 2 root 3 okay and that is my final answer Okay, I noticed some people uh, do 12 times 4. If you do 12 times 4, you're not, uh, well, you're still kind of coming to the same format, but it just means you have not fully simplified it, that's all. Cool, any questions on this, this one? <coughs> okay, always remember, if they ask you to solve the equation and you're given a quadratic, just use the quadratic formula. All right, use the quadratic formula and you'll end up with um, these things pretty straightforward. So, okay with this? All right, next question, yeah? Okay, just a reminder for you, when you differentiate uh, tan x, what do you get? 6 squared x. So this is f of x, f dash of x. So in this case, we're going to get y dash is equal to 6, 6 squared 5x, and that's multiplied by the differentiation of 5x, which is 5, and so the answer is going to be 36 squared 5x. Sweet. Two minutes for that question. Well done. Next time I want it done in 30 seconds. <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on to the next question. <laughs> All right, guys. So the very first thing I want to do in this question is I want to get rid of the square root symbol. All right. So x to the power of half. Do you get a point for doing that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Plus 6 cos uh, 2x dx. All right. And from here, I'm going to start integrating it. So I'm going to have x to the power of half plus 1 divided by half plus 1. And then, is that okay so far? Plus 6 uh, cos integrates to sine. So that's going to be sine 2x. And that's, of course, well, you can either do multiplied or divided by the differentiation of that. Is that okay? So that's my 2. No, I was messing with you. That's why. Okay. So <laughs> what you then have is x to the power of 3 over 2 
divided by 3 over 2 plus 3 sine 2x. Is that all right? And sometimes in your answers it might be simplified, but do I? Do you guys need to simplify for your answers? No. Yeah, just leave it as it is, all right? But if you do, if you do want to get better at algebra, then simplify it. This would look like that. And that's it. Questions? Oh, thank you very much. First person to actually point that out. Don't forget the plus C, guys. Integration. Cool. We're good with this? Okay. Thank you for watching the first episode of Calculus Daily. <laughs>